What's up, Barry? I didn't know that we were rolling already. Okay. Go. You got your little rubber ducky in there, man? Yeah, it's not just a rubber ducky. It is a Hey Y'all Texas rubber duck. Boom, because we're doing big things right here in Texas. As you can see, we got machines coming in. We got the catwalk, all of that. Everything just keeps changing. We're bringing in new machines. We're bringing in new technology. You know, we've had the Sodic EDMs, the wire and the sinker for a little while now, but now we just took the entire platform to another level because we have the SR12. There, oh, dude, oh. you got oh people my. asking. They're, they're like asking, why didn't you get a tool magazine yeah. on that guy? Right? Yeah, you only got a little tool rack. Why don't you get like a magazine? And then you're like, oh, we're gonna get actually a robot. Yeah. When you look at EDM, you're not thinking automation. It just seems unfamiliar that you could put a robot between EDMs and stuff, because I've actually never seen it. But today, we get to show you exactly that. And uh, Barry's gonna take you through the paces and uh, yeah. yeah. High level, high level, high speed yes. EDM in the house. Efficiency so in automation. So you may have noticed in some of our previous videos, we used to only have a four electrode tool rack. Well, now we have 60. And not only that, but we can also hold up to 10 pallets. And that's a good thing because the project I'm working on right now is for Brandon Herrera, the AK guy. What? You didn't think we forgot about the AK-50, did you? We got 10 electrodes here and a FAMAS barrel that we have to put some tiny little grooves on the ID of the barrel. So stay tuned for that because it's gonna be super cool. Now, let me show you guys how this thing works. Get in there, rubber ducky. Whack, whack. Now this thing's super user friendly. There's barely any buttons that we have to press on this. We're gonna go into automatic mode, the door's locked, and then we just call in our pallets or our electrodes. Enter. Go, go, gadget robot. Now one of the things that was super nice about this robot is all we had to do was tell Sodic how many pallets and how many electrodes we wanted, and they taught all the positions for us at the factory. This robot is super easy to use. You almost never have to touch the robot teach pendant unless you do something like e-stop right in the middle of an electrode change. Now while Sodic was here installing this machine, we actually tested that, and we were able to recover the robot in just a couple of very easy steps. You know me, I like to create the worst case scenarios. Now you notice super cool little things built into the PLC, like the way the robot tips the pallet to get some of the dielectric fluid off of your pallet. If you're looking to automate your sinker EDM processes, this is how you do it. So with 60 electrodes and 10 pallets, you can load those pallets up on a Friday afternoon, Go home, go to sleep, and this thing can run all weekend long, unattended, with almost zero operator interference. And we all know that automation is the future. If you're not familiar with Sinker EDM technology, what we do is we apply an electric charge to either a graphite or a copper electrode, and use that electrode to remove material from our workpiece. Now we use this technology to achieve features in our parts that aren't machinable by conventional means. And if you guys are out there running Sinker EDMs, you know most of the time you're not just using one, two, three, or four electrodes. You're using quite a few. And it's a good thing we have this robot because I'm gonna be using it to put all these electrodes in for our project with Brandon Herrera. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Stay tuned because we're gonna be doing some super cool projects while we put this new addition to the Titans of CNC family through its paces. Please like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys again soon. Rubber ducky, you're the one who makes EDM so much fun. Rubber ducky, I'm awfully fond of you.